Okay, I'm making this quick video to show you three Roy Batty references in Cyberpunk. Roy Batty is, of course, the antagonist of the original Blade Runner film, and he's also in the book it's based on, which, sadly, I haven't read. Perhaps you'll tell me about it in the comments, but now let's have a look at Cyberpunk. The first and possibly the smallest reference is this large building in Pacifica called Batty's Hotel. It's where we go to meet Placide and eventually Brigitte. The logo of the hotel, down here next to its name, is likely a reference to the unicorn origami which Deckard finds in the end of the film. It's too bad she won't live! Alright, moving on to the second one. Right about here, in Night City's graveyard, there is an inscription with Roy Batty's name. In addition to a drawing of what has to be the white bird he holds on to in the end, and eventually lets go as he dies. Beneath his name, there's also a quote from his dying speech. All those moments will be lost in time. Like tears in rain. And finally, the biggest and most impressive reference is Roy Batty himself. His dead body and the surroundings during his death scene are recreated in the game. Which possibly contradicts the second reference a little bit, but oh well. So, to see it, you have to go to the Advoset Hotel, if I'm pronouncing it properly. It's located over here. Simply enter the building, which is a bit of a mess and all covered in graffiti, enter the elevator and go to the terrace. Or, or terrace? Anyway, at that point, the entire atmosphere of the place changes to fit the ending scene of Blade Runner. If you, for example, go to the hotel in clear daytime, like I did, it will immediately switch to night as well as rain. So you find yourself in a place that looks exactly like the roof where Roy Batty dies, with all these ledges and big vents with lights shining through them. And in the very end, we have Roy himself. He's listed as unknown, but it's clear. There's also a bird in his hand, though not the one from the film. So there we go. This is all I have for you today. I'm honestly not that well familiar with the Blade Runner lore beyond the two films, so if there's anything more to these references, or perhaps any further ones that I haven't included, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Alright, thank you very much for watching, special thanks to my YouTube members and supporters, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good.